your relationship with money can be a tricky one. Sometimes it's just time to learn new information. Well, we've got Ken Butsy from Integrity First Planners. Welcome, as always, Thank you. to share us. Look at all these resources you have for us. So let's get started. What's the first one? Well, you know, often people will say, what do I read? What, what can I refer people to to read? They want to learn more about something. Okay. Uh, so I, I brought a couple of different uh, areas that we talk about. One right now uh, is a big topic is long-term care. You know, what happens if... And right. it's very confusing. You can read things in the paper and it confuses the heck out of people. So one of the things that I refer people to is the Long-Term Care Insurance Shopper's Guide. Okay, this is free. Okay. You can get it from people like me or you can, it's put out by the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. And this is not gobbledygook. We it's can not actually gobbledygook. understand it. It's, it, okay. it gives you a lot of definitions. It gives you some explanations. Okay, I great. think it's great information that's free and um, it, it gets people to understand some of the basics that they might look for if they were considering a policy. And, okay. and now is about the time, if you're in your 50s, we should be thinking about this, right? Well, the idea for insurance, I always say, is buy it yesterday when you were healthy. Well, there so, you go. Okay. So, you know, uh, it's just, it's, it, I, yes, 50s would be great, 60s would be great if you don't have it now, and if, and if you're in a situation where it could, you know, not having it's going to hurt you, then, yeah, then you ought to explore it. What's the next thing? Well, this is also another long-term care insurance book, but this is actually written by an attorney that gets more details about what you might be looking for. It's, it's more than a definitional book, so I, I okay. love this book. It's called In Sickness and in Health, and it's written by Harley Gordon, and again, he's not selling a product. Uh -huh. he's, he's explaining to you in American words. <laughs> <laughs> what this is, okay? All right, she's helping you. Okay. Yes. And the next one? The next one, uh, this is my favorite. This is the book that actually probably started me into financial planning over 12 years ago. It's written by Ed Slott. It's called The Retirement Savings Time Bomb. And it's all about uh, retirement plans and things that can go wrong. It's written in American, very easy, very funny to read okay. at times. I will caution you, a lot of the information is outdated because tax laws have changed, but I still recommend people read it because it makes your brain think about some of the things that can go wrong because you're not aware of things that they can go wrong until it's too until late. Until it's too late, so exactly. this gets you to thinking and, and gives you some explanations right. about how Great. certain laws are put down. Good. Now, on the economic side, this is the one that people are always asking me, what, what do I read? There's a couple of books here. One is called The Death of Pensions. This is put out by H.S. Dent Foundation. And uh, you can just go to www.hsdent.com. And Harry writes a bunch of these little pamphlets about um, various topics. Okay. For instance, this is the death of pensions, pensions, talking about how pensions are going away and, and why they're going away and, and so on and so forth. I like this because it's digestible. It's digestible. Right. It's, it's 10 pages. You know, it's Good. not a big economics book. Okay. Here's another one that Harry puts out called The Long Winter Ahead, written in 2006, talking about the crisis that, that we've just gone through. He was forecasting it five years before really? this, okay? Wow. So again, it's it's very simple to read. You don't have to read a 400-page book, but it, 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 it speaks to you in, in very simple language. Okay. And then, here's my favorite book, and I read this uh, every other year. I, I, you know, every two years I go back and read it. It's called How to Lose a Hundred Million, How I Lost, a, How to Lose a Hundred Million Dollars. It's written by a How business. About having it to well, lose. That was <laughs> what it is. Is it's a it's a it's a basically it's a biography of someone, a businessman back in the twenties who had a business career for sixty years and he would try things. He would lose money. He would try other things. He'd make money and and I, I love the book. It's you can find it in, in libraries, but Great. it's um, it just gives you kind of a. a, a the guy struggles through and okay. how taxes changed and, wow. and it gives you a good perspective when you're actually thinking about what investments may or may not make sense for you. I've, I've so always gone back to we've it. We've got books, we've got pamphlets. You also have newsletters and websites that you Newsletters. Uh, on my website, integrityfirstplanners.com, we actually have a list of recommended readings and recommended websites for the, basically used for educational purposes. Okay. Um, most of the stuff that I recommend uh, is, is consumer friendly reading. It's, it's supposed to be relatively easy to read. It's not heavy technical stuff, uh, mm -hmm. although I do read that stuff, but quite frankly, um, things okay. that people put it in, in. And these All are right. things that I'm putting out that you're, you're probably not aware of. You know, well, you can always go to the store and read true. Millionaire Next right. Door, but this is something. Right. No, this is great. And so. for people who want to read this and learn more about it, they can go to your website, like you right. said, which is integrityfirstplanners.com, or they can call you because you're a walking encyclopedia at 216 751 4229. Thank you, as always, for coming on with all this great information. Thank you. Stay tuned because we've got Romance Review coming up.
next? Does your pooch's pedigree predict how he performs? The answer from our expert. Then, a couple needs to cut corners on their costs. Coach Kathy adds up ways to save.